What's up, everybody? Welcome to my channel. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back to the old subscribers. Um, I'm doing the Some Truth Is spreads for all the elements, and I'm on the air signs. So, Aquarius, I feel like things are a little bit unbalanced because someone might be working a lot. Someone might feel like... They might not be ready to try something new. Um, I think that someone is kind of being defensive because, you know, they've given to situations in the past or maybe they just don't know the truth about this. Or I think there's a level of fear. There's a level of like lack of confidence here, Aquarius. Um, the truth and the secret is that you have the Ten of Pentacles with the King of Cups. The truth is that maybe you're working towards, you know, a solid ground. You're, you're trying to be stable. You're trying to build your money up. And maybe feelings really weren't a part of that. But at the same time, you know, this person, um, like for some reason you guys connect on a level where... It's like they can understand you or maybe understand why you don't talk about your feelings or there's like you're scared of someone leaving or you don't really want to be dependent on someone. So you're trying to do it on your own. But at the same time, it's more about confidence and, you know, being left in the past and kind of feeling like um, you don't know if you have confidence to move this forward because of the way that you're thinking about things and it's just like you don't know how to free your mind from you know it's almost like you don't want to see that there's definitely some recovery and healing that needs it's like you're tormenting yourself almost but it's like there's a level of forgiveness here um, maybe to another person or to move this forward um, I think that you need to get out of your head a little bit. Um, I just think that you're really um, struggling and overwhelmed with trying to balance your life out. And that's why things are kind of stalled. And you, it's almost like you want someone to care about you. Or maybe you don't want, like, to be dependent on your feelings. You'd rather, like, build up your life yourself and, you know... I just feel like a part of you feels like things are just going to fall apart because, you know, there might be some gossip. There might be some other things involved. Um, I just think that you don't want to lose something. Um, you don't want to give and not receive. And, you know, you might be dealing with some issues from your past still. But I do feel like once you have this peace of mind and you're able to heal a little bit, you'll be more accepting of this love that's here because... I just feel like you have taken a lot of losses and you are afraid um, of doing that. So you'd rather be single. And what's helping or influencing this is the King of Wands and the Eight of Cups. I feel like someone, um, someone's a little bit more bold. Someone has like this authority um, to them. But at the same time, they still kind of have some impulses. And when it comes to feelings, um, someone just kind of runs from them. Someone isn't really ready to... <clears throat> I feel like someone's trying to master like their impulses and how they do things. But maybe they're not ready for feelings that come along with this. So it's like someone would rather just be alone. And it's like... You know, maybe that there's some things you need to move on from in your life, but you, the best way you know how to solve this is to, you know, um, try to become financially stable and um, maybe then you'll get to a point where you have more clarity about things. Um, what you need to release and move away from is the Ace of Cups in reverse. A situation where you were really disappointed when it came to your feelings you were let down a lot and it's like there was a lot of breakups there's a lot of arguing and you just felt like there were a lot of people involved and 
a part of you really hasn't forgiven the past and you not really able to move on from that feeling and it's just like you have the two of wands in reverse i think that someone's trying to make a decision about moving forward but that's going to involve like ending a cycle or maybe you're waiting to um go and see someone who's at a distance but it's just like this is being guided you know um this is kind of something that is the universe is handing to you but it's going to be up to you what you do with it because um i just feel like there's a lot of fear um when it comes to ending something else even though <clears throat> a part of you <clears throat> is like lonely you can't really um release yourself from this mental conflict for some reason i think that someone is really um focused on the past issues of betrayal and you know maybe affairs and a divorce and so you just rather be alone and it's like there's a level of acceptance um when it comes to emotions when it comes to things that you're not really able to move on from but i just feel like it's more about a lack of confidence that comes with this like you don't you don't really know how to have the confidence to do this. What are the messages for Libra? bottom is the Hierophant with the Empress card. Um, I feel like there was a lesson that needed to be learned about maybe having more than one choice or maybe um, figuring out what it is that's going to make you happy. I think someone wants a new start, but someone is kind of not really sure if they can forgive this situation. Um... There was some, there was a fight maybe or someone kind of left the situation. There might have been um, a new direction taken by another person and that's kind of leaving you at this point where, you know, um, someone's really angry about this. The truth of the secret is the nine of swords with the hanged man in reverse. Someone is um, getting out of a situation and it's leaving you. Why is that door open? Um, leaving you kind of feeling. Go. Can I have it? I don't care. Shut the door out there. Um, leaving you kind of worried and maybe there's some depression here because this was a family situation maybe and you know someone's moving away and you thought this person was your soulmate but there's just a lot of fighting around this it's like you know this was kind of something that ended pretty badly because maybe too many people involved maybe some deception um it's helping or influencing the situation is the knight of cups three of cups and the knight of swords I think that someone might be going back to a situation um, where they have feelings for this person or maybe, you know, this was kind of something that was unexpected because maybe someone was just a friend to someone, but now, um, you know, they came back into the situation and now you're not really sure, like why the person is acting the way that they are. And I just feel like some of you guys are worried about this ending because you want to work on this now and you feel like someone's leaving or moving on and you are unable to really let the past go when it comes to this or maybe just realizing that there was a toxic situation here. And, you know, someone just kind of wants peace and someone is trying to recover from this because it's just like there was some betrayal here that really wasn't talked about you know there was some deception and some illusions and fear that came along with this and it's like someone is really 
kind of lost their power because of this and there's just causing a lot of stress. Um, what does someone need to release and move away from? You have the Eight of Swords and the Temperance card. I think that the way that someone is thinking, the way that someone is um, keeping themselves like, you know, really stuck in their head about things, um, maybe not really wanting to see that, you know, um, this is like, you guys can't really balance this out the way that you want to, even though you put a lot of time into this. I just feel like there's been a lot of dishonesty and someone kind of left unexpectedly and, um, they didn't really tell you. And this was like, you feel like someone just abandoned you and you feel like their focus really isn't on you and you're really stressed about this or maybe this is the other person I just feel like there was a situation where maybe someone went to another person and I think that this was kind of a role that got flipped around um, for you guys and <clears throat> Someone just doesn't want to fight about this kind of in and out behavior anymore. I just feel like someone is concerned with themselves and someone has kind of realized that someone's really impulsive. And I think that's kind of what ended this. Um, and there's a decision that had to be made here. Um, Gemini, you have... For what is the truth and the secret, you have the Page of Cups with the Death card. I feel like there's a situation um, maybe with a child or maybe um, with the birth of a child here where there was kind of a fight about something, but you're like trying to figure out a way to make everyone happy and work this out because um, I think that you can recognize like something in another person and now you kind of want to try again and you realize maybe someone's really immature maybe it has something to do with children but you just feel like maybe there are some issues with the child and you maybe thought about it wrong or someone kind of thinks about things in a different way or you just don't want to fight with someone anymore and what's helping or influencing is the hierophant with the five of swords I just feel like somebody does things a certain way because this is how they were raised, this is what they went through, and someone's kind of had to fight a lot of battles in their life, and that may be why they're so immature with the way they do things, and you feel like, <clears throat> you know, you've had some clarity about this, and maybe you want to work on this with this person, because maybe there's someone that's kind of lonely and someone who's kind of codependent in a way, but is still um, weighing on your mind about this situation where maybe you are a little bit worried about their mental state and you know how you can rebuild this. Um, what do you need to release and move away from? You have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the King of Wands in reverse. I feel like there was a situation where Someone kind of has some mental issues and, you know, they maybe propose to you or they you have they have these feelings for you. But a part of you knows that there's some issues here with this person. And you're maybe not kind of ready for this or what he, this person's expecting of you. And you feel like there's just kind of. um <sighs> This person wants to have a new beginning, but like you just don't really know it's going to involve some forgiveness and maybe realizing that there's some addictions at play here. And, you know, you want this person to see things clearly and you want this person to maybe go in and get help. But you just feel like their mindset is on other things and maybe you're going to be the one that has to like bring them to this recovery place or maybe someone is going to be going to jail but it's like you care about them, but you know that you need to take a break from them um, because they don't really, they're not really changing anything, even though you love them. I think you, you're trying to be compassionate for them in their situation and you tried to work with them, but you, 
there might be some um, legal things here and um, I think that someone is kind of worried about themselves and they're kind of waiting for this to come together but you just kind of take you're having some setbacks right now and I just feel like there might be some blocks in the way and it might lead to someone being unemployed or something along the lines of you know someone is trying to make things right after maybe getting out of jail or maybe they just want you to forgive them for whatever past things there was because someone doesn't really want to walk away from this because they're really attached but it's like someone kind of always plays the victim and you feel like you have some kind of mixed feelings that maybe they're doing some things behind your back like are they you know just wanting to be on their own or maybe that's what you kind of want um I do see a new job coming in for some of you guys and I feel like you know maybe um you'll be getting a loan or maybe you'll have more clarity about someone that's coming back from your past and I feel like there's some other things going on with this person there might be some family issues and maybe they just need you to support them anyways that's all I have for my air signs bye